Hello friends, we will be discussing the chapter force and friction. Now when you hear the word force and friction, the first thing that comes to your mind is what is force. Now force is basically defined as a push or a pull which is acting upon an object as a result of its interaction with another object. For example, when you see a fruit or a vegetable vendor who is pushing his cart, he is pushing his cart. So he is applying force on his cart which is making his cart to move ahead. And for example, when you all have been to airports or when you have a baggage which, which has wheels on it, you drag it, you pull it. So the pull is the force which is being acted on an object. Means here the object is the baggage and the baggage is moved by the force. Let's discuss the effects of force. First effect is force can move a stationary object. For example, I have got this marker in my hand. I can move this marker by the force of my hand. So this is proved. The second effect of force is the force can stop a moving object. Take the example that when you play a game of catch catch or when you play cricket, when the ball comes here, you when you catch the ball, the ball is stopped. So this is also confirmed that force can stop a moving object. Now the third effect of force is that force can change the speed of the moving object. I am sure you all have must have been to many gardens in your life. There when you sit on the swing and from behind somebody pushes you then your speed changes so this is confirmed. The fourth effect of force is that force can change the size and shape of an object. When you play with clay, you mold the clay like this so the shape and size is changed and the final effect of force is that force can change the direction of a moving object. When a batsman hits the ball, he changes the direction of the ball with the force of his bat. So yes, this is also confirmed. Friends, now let's discuss the types of force. There are two types of force, contact force and non-contact force. Contact force is further divided into two subtypes which are muscular force and frictional force. Force that is applied by the muscles of one's body is known as muscular force. For example, when we pick up a heavy box, a muscular force comes into play. Even animals use this force. For example, a horse pulling a cart. body moves or tries to move on a surface, the motion that resists the movement of the body is known as frictional force. For example, kicking a ball or running on the ground. Let's move on to the non-contact force. Non-contact force comes into play when the object is not in contact of another object while the force occurs. There are three types of non-contact forces, gravitational force, magnetic force and electrostatic force. Gravitational force is the force that is exerted from the earth. It comes into play when we throw anything up in the air, it comes down after some time. Gravitational force is so strong that it keeps us on the ground. If there was no gravity on this earth, we would have been floating in the air. Force occurs when a metal like iron or nickel is attracted to the magnet. The force of attraction between the metal and the magnet is known as magnetic force. Now let's move on to electrostatic force. Basically, all objects on earth have two electrical charges, positive charge and negative charge. The force exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force. For example, a charged piece of ruler can attract the uncharged bits of papers which are lying on a ground or any other surface. During this process, the object which loses charge is known as positively charged object and the object which gains charge is known as negatively charged ob object. So friends, thanks for watching. Hope this video was useful. I would be uploading a part 2 on this video soon. So stay tuned and subscribe.